So there are some 7,000 workers on strike here in Finland. They've been on strike for, I think this is the fourth week. This is the fourth week for them, and I support them fully as I always have and I always will. Because what this government is trying to do to working people, working families, is just sadistic. It's just sadistic. Especially the whatever brainless halfwit in, uh, in, in Parliament decided that it would be a good idea to make the first day of sick leave unpaid. Just like that, that you, you, you go to that guy's house and you're going to find a whole lot of dead bodies in their basement, probably. That, that's just that's some sadistic shit. And then c cutting the, the employer compensation, employer compensation for uh, parental leave by a thousand euros to entice more women to enter the workforce. <laughs> when, when the workforce right now is in such shambles. It's in such shambles. It, 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 it's like none of this shit makes any sense. And that is exactly why so many people are on strike. Unfortunately, and this is where things get even worse, public support for these strikes is starting to wane. And I just want to say, if you are a working person of modest means and you are starting to lose support for these workers because you're becoming personally inconvenienced in some way because of the fuel shortages or the textile industry layoffs making your clothes more expensive, go fuck yourself. Because you've lost the plot. You've allowed yourself to lose the plot. And you are falling exactly into the trap that right-wing governments set when people go on strike. When workers go on strike, they turn worker against worker. Because one sector of employment goes on strike, it affects the other one. I'm affected. No, this isn't how it's supposed to work. I'm not on strike. I am personally inconvenienced. That's the point. You know, like when it's your turn to go on strike and you stop working and you start picketing and, and, and yelling at the government, whenever that might be. It's about inconvenience. That's what strikes have always been about. And allowing yourself to lose the plot on that, <laughs> go fuck yourselves. Seriously. I am so sick and tired of working people getting screwed over. Not, not just in Finland, the world over. The world over. There's always been way more of us than there have been of them. Always. There have always been so many more workers than there have been employers. And yet, here we are in 2024, still getting governments like the Orpo government Cutting this and cutting that and, and rolling back on this. N n never doing anything to the rich. No, still letting them collect childcare benefits that they don't even fucking need. You know, that's one way you could save money, Pet Daddy. Have you ever considered that? No, you haven't considered that because you're fucking brain dead when it comes to the economy. Just like your girlfriend, Burra. Um, or maybe she's more of your sister. I don't know. Whatever you two role play w w while you're behind closed doors. I, I, I don't know. I kind of don't want to know, even though I'm thinking about it right now. But you're both really stupid when it comes to running a government. And I'm just counting the days. I'm counting the days until this whole thing just collapses. Just collapses and they've got to reset. That is a good thing about the government here in Finland, is that if shit hits the fan... Um, it, 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 it's their duty. It is a duty of the cabinet to, and that's really the only way anything is going to change for the better. And unfortunately, I don't think these current strikes are going to be enough. Uh, Petr Yorpo has said stubbornly over and over and over again that these cuts are going to move ahead. Big brain energy from Petr the Clown, you know. You've already got a really low birth rate and you're facing depopulation in, within the next couple of decades. I know. Let's keep cutting welfare and let's keep making it less enticing for people to have children. <laughs> Fucking idiot. And I, I know I've called them idiots and, and I've said mean words about them so many times just in this video alone. But it's like... Nice time is over for these people. Because they're not nice. <laughs> Especially the basic Finns, those racist douchebags. Do you think they, they, they care about playing nice? It was playing dirty that got them in power in the first place. And talking dirty. Little oh, wait, that, that sounded weird. Okay, but you, maybe you understand what I mean. Or maybe you'll just be one of those people that goes, Oh my god, he's using insults. He doesn't have an argument. Eh, okay. I'm just really, really fed up with working people getting screwed. And why did my monitor just turn off? 
Oh my god, I'm 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 just it's not going to be enough for 7,000 people to be on strike. There needs to be a general strike. There needs to be, and I, you know, I would personally, this is just me, and maybe I'm the sadistic one, but I personally would include nurses in that. Oh yeah, even nurses, drop everything you're doing. Everybody, every unionized worker, drop what you're doing. If, if you're a part of that, um, Oh shit! I I forgot the net. I'm not even gonna mention it because I because I forgot the name of it. Um, but all unionized workers just drop what you're doing and go home for three days. Go home for three days. Play ball with the kids. Watch TV. Do some arts and crafts. Do anything but feed the machine that is eating you. That is what needs to happen. Is it going to happen? Probably not. Especially as public support continues to go down. For these strikes, especially from the, the these old pensioners who don't give a fuck about young people, who don't give a fuck about the plight of the worker. They were workers once, but they were workers in a time that was a lot more kind to them. And they've got their pension and they've got a, just like the baby boomers that they, they've already got theirs. They got theirs and they don't want anybody else to have any of it. They don't want anybody else to share. They don't want anybody else in on any sort of cooperative activity. They just want them to run the machine so that they can get their fucking coffee apula. So they can get their fucking newspaper so that they can just sit around and talk about how much things suck. Yeah, you made it suck, you fucking old pieces of shit. And you're the ones who elected these younger pieces of shit who are currently sitting in parliament wasting oxygen and making everything worse for working people. It needs more action more people need to go on strike the time for like I, I hear people on the left always talking talking about general strikes they always theorize general strikes like okay this you know wouldn't it be great if everybody just dropped what they were doing and and showed the government really showed them that there are in fact more of us than there are of them you're goddamn right you're goddamn right. So what better time than now? Especially when things are so bad in this economy and you have a government that insists on making things worse. It is such low IQ fucking energy to be seated in a position of power and cut benefits for people in the time when they need them the most. You can't just say, here's a job, there you go. Here you go, here's a job. Especially when the market is stagnant. The job market is fucking stagnant. People are still at home. People are still at home. You can't just create jobs out of thin air. You know, if there's not a demand for that job, you can't just create that demand out of thin air. You can't just tell people, here you go, here's a job and here's a salary. Because if you give them a salary and there's no reason for that salary other than, oh, look at us, we gave jobs, then th th what's the fucking point? You're just going to be losing money. There has to be demand for that job. There has to be a reason for that job to be done. You can't just throw jobs at people. But they don't think about these things because they don't think. They forgot how to think about the working person a long time ago. When they got that power, women, pff, fuck them. We'll, we'll, we'll cut a thousand euros from the allowance to employers so that employers will look at women when they're, when they're going to hire people and go, you know what, it's going to be less expensive for us to hire a man than it will be for a woman. Especially a woman of childbearing age, because she's going to go off and have one of those kids, and then we're going to get even less money from the government to cover what we're going to have to pay for their maternity leave. So fuck it. We're just going to be hiring. These are the things that people are striking for or striking over. And these are the things that this coalition government will not budge on. They will never, never budge on these things ever. Orpo has said over and over again, these cuts are going to happen. He's admitted that these cuts are going to disproportionately affect women, even though he says, oh, these other things we're going to do, they're going to make up for that. Ah, yeah, how's that going? Eight months in and your job market is, is as trash as it is. How's that going? How's that consumer confidence going? Hmm? Or are you just resting on the laurels of the fact that this country got named the happiest country in the world for the seventh year in a row, despite the fact that people under 30, when they were asked... 
were a lot lower on the list, and people over 60 also were a lot lower on the list, to say nothing of the fact that Gallup polls are fucking useless when it comes to things like the economy, when it comes to real issues that are facing real people. Are you just resting on those laurels? Or are you just as empty-headed as you look in every fucking picture I see of you? I'm not going to be nice to people who are just trying to ruin people's lives. I don't like the idea of people who are already struggling having to struggle more. It's, you know, it shouldn't have to be this way. The money is there to make sure that everyone is taken care of. The money is fucking there. It's just the people who are cheap, the people who have it all are cheap. It has been studied. Rich people are fucking cheap. They are fucking cheap, and they are fucking lazy, too. They, they don't do any of the goddamn work. But everybody else does all the work, and they pay all the goddamn taxes. It's frightening how humanity has progressed this far this way, with this economic system. It's frightening how there are not even more people who are burnt out right now, who are, you know, sitting at home and with a few free hours that they have. It, frightening to, to think that more of them are not trying to think of ways out of all of this shit. You know, no wonder so many people are staying home. You think people are staying home because they're lazy. You try to tell people that the economy is the way it is because these lazy people are sitting at home. They're not lazy. They're burnt out from doing all the fucking work that nobody else with all the money wants to do. Because you pretend that they're the ones who are the most valuable to this society. One of these days, there's going to come a realization that there are more of these workers than there are of these rich douchebags. And I, a general strike would be so great. I, I, I'm, I'm just waiting to watch the collapse the world over. Just to watch the collapse. And then to see all these, these rich fucks running from people with their knives and forks in their hands. Going, how could this have happened? Oh my god. My money's not able to save me now. How could this have happened? I wonder. There, now I feel a little bit better. I'm gonna go take a shit. Have a good day, folks.